Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series where we review every Capcom CPS, CP System Dash, CPS2, and CPS3 game ever made. Today we're taking a look at Dimahu. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This is one of my favorite shmups of all time that's ever been on a Capcom platform. I love the intro, kind of feels like you're playing a comic book. But the really interesting thing about this game is that it's a shmup with a medieval animal vibe to it. It's definitely unique and interesting, but it is one of my favorite shmups of all time. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But I've shown a lot of the CPS2 shmups previously on my CPS2 review series about two years ago, and I will leave a link to that playlist below. But Dimahu was one of the games I didn't cover, and I can't even remember why I didn't then. Maybe my board wasn't working, I did have to get it repaired. But now that I have this on the Mister and playing on the Hotego cores, we're definitely going to be talking about it. This is everything I want in a shmup. It's difficult. It's got a lot of fun mechanics. The graphics are amazing. The soundtrack is perfect. And it's got a theme that I'm really interested in. Because you're going to be seeing that there's these tanks going along the ground here. But we also have these magical books that are acting as our power-ups. And I completely duffed it and missed that one there. But then you have knights chasing people down from the woods. And dragons with jets on their back. It is a wild theme, but I absolutely love it it's like steampunk medieval setting kind of reminds me of pro gear except wilder and that's really interesting because pro gear in and of itself was already a really weirdly themed game but what else can i say about a shmup like this it is challenging you can spend hours upon hours playing this game just getting better at it and towards the later stages in the game the bosses become almost impossible for me not to at least use one continue on this is the type of game that if you're trying to do a one credit continue on you're going to be spending a ton of time days upon days upon days learning the patterns and getting better at the game but that's why so many people love shmups beating it by just pumping credits in doesn't take that long at all you can 100 percent always see the ending but getting good at the game and trying to get a high score or trying to get the least amount of continues possible in a run is really where these games open up but you will see here that I have a blue attack now. This shares a similar mechanic to other shmups where you have different color projectiles that are going to do more or less damage to different enemies depending on the color in front of you. And we'll see we're going to giant turtle buster right here. It's a giant turtle with basically an entire fort on its back. I absolutely love that. It's weird. It's strange. I definitely looked away from the screen there and took that death. That was not intentional or accidental. That was just me looking at my phone. Sorry, guys. But I just love the bosses. Who thinks this up? Putting a turtle and a battle fort together. It's perfect. It's weird. It's quirky. It's got everything I absolutely love. But you'll see the turtle is red. So by using the blue attack, we're going to be able to defeat him quicker. And of course, I chose the guy with the giant comb blade. I'm not sure if that's Elvis, but it definitely looks like him. But moving right on to stage two here, I absolutely love editing the videos for shmups when the shmup is good, because I always have to cut things apart to remove the filler out of it and make sure you're just seeing the most exciting content. But with a game like Dimahu, I don't really have to edit much whatsoever because this is action-packed from start to finish. And you'll see that I'm already starting to take some deaths here because the game is getting much more difficult. And you'll see the different red and blue projectiles coming out. It feels a little bit like Ikaruga, but it feels like it's not pushing the concept as far, which I actually appreciate because on paper I love the idea of what Ikaruga is trying to do, but in execution the constant switching of your weapon from one color to the other becomes a little bit mind-bending for me and I definitely can't follow along with it as well. Your weapons here will damage the enemies no matter what color you're using. You don't really have to change, it just makes the game easier. So it gives you the ability to not be amazing at it, but if you really learn and get better you can become as good as something like Ikaruga with that color changing mechanic but I would say as well this game is just beautiful to look at I love all the character animations I love all the concepts for the enemies the birds the dragons that are part mech part organic material it just works really well the game runs at a perfect 60 frames a second I also just love the colors as well they've got this really rich red in the background right now with that blue of that dragon flying at you and you'll see here that I had to take another continue I'm just letting the continue screen run for a bit because even the font in this game just looks spectacular the artists that were behind this did a perfect job of making this feel fun and unique you know we've already reviewed the 1940 series on the capcom cps2 we've talked about a lot of the other shmups but for me this is definitely in the top three as far as shmups on the platform are concerned 
But what I haven't mentioned yet and you want to listen to is the soundtrack. It is absolutely this rock spectacular opera that you definitely want to experience. So go ahead and enjoy that for 30 to 45 seconds and I'll come back and sing Dimahu's praises a bit more. But enjoy. The soundtrack for this game is just sheer perfection. It's the type of soundtrack that I would listen to outside of the game, especially because if you're just listening to the soundtrack, you're not getting all the bullet and explosion sound effects over it. But this is made by Rising, and they have a great lineage of shmups and other really interesting arcade games that I love. The Loop Master 1944 on the CPS2 as well is definitely another one of my favorite shmups on the platform. They're not as well known as people like Cave. They seem to take the limelight when it comes to shmups these days are concerned, but Rising did an absolutely outstanding job of making shmups. They also made really other interesting games that I love, like Golgo 13. I featured that on Unported Playlist, I'll leave a link below, but it is a light gun game in the vein of Point Blank, except it's an assassination sniper light gun game. They were a developer that did a lot of different things in a lot of different genres, and always seemed to make incredible games no matter what it was they were trying, and Demohu is no different whatsoever. If for some reason you've never played this game before, I implore you, play it after this video is done. I'm playing it on the Mr. FPJ on the Hotego Core but I do have this on my CPS2 multi setup as well. If you want to buy an original car, it's definitely not going to be cheap, but it is something that I would add to my collection if I saw a good deal on it because I absolutely love the game. This is the type of thing that I would leave in a cabinet. That way I could just sit down and play it whenever I felt like. But no matter how you play it, you 100% have to check it out. Definitely, at least after the video. Don't stop it early. I like the views, but right afterwards is fine. And the interesting thing is this is one of the last shmups that Rising ever made because when they were incorporated into aiding, I think that's how you pronounce it, they didn't make any more shmups. Now, there seems to be some debate online whether or not Dimahu or the Loop Master was the last shmup they ever made, but obviously they were being worked on in the same period of time because they both came out in the year 2000. And it's really unfortunate that they don't make shmups anymore because I think that was definitely one of the best genres that the developers were participating in. But again, this soundtrack is just straight fire. So listen for another 30 seconds. I don't want you to go without hearing this amazing tune. And I'll be back and tell you one more time why if you've never played this game, you owe it to me as a viewer to do it. Be right back. It is just absolutely perfect music as far as I'm concerned. And I'm moving on to the next boss, Psy Spider here. Nothing makes me happier than shooting a spider in a shmup. I do not like them in real life. I usually try to not smush them and let them go on about their way. But honestly, blowing some virtual spiders up is definitely in my wheelhouse. But again, if you've never played this game before, 100% check it out. I love the bullet patterns here. They have that really nice geometry to them that really lets you learn how to navigate through them outside of me dying right there. And to be able to actually play this game really well. I'd say the hitbox is quite fair. It's not too big. It's not too small. But you'll see here, trying to navigate around the bullet patterns is exactly where all the excitement in Dimahu comes from. It is a near-perfect shmup. You should play it. Sure that, I will be back next week with another episode in our CPS2 review series and I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below. Have you played the game before? What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is my love for it misplaced? Because I know it's definitely not on the list of best shmups of all time, but as far as I'm concerned, it should be. Sure to that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Give me a huge favor. Go and like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.